So Phoenix resale this scumbag. I go to his alt account, Renix P Sill. Stupid name, by the way, FYI. So stupid. I go to his alt account, Renix P Sill. This guy uploads a video. Video game bulk deal in my basement. Dude! No one cares about your little circle jerk that you're having in your stupid little basement dwelling there with your dumb little Amazon shop with some incel that wants to sell you a bunch of friggin' games that are, I bet you this guy. I technically own 14 copies of Wii Sports. That's in his basement right now selling him games. I bet you this guy is from his friggin', friggin' uh, YouTube members. Oh, YouTube members, come on over guys to my friggin' basement. Let's have a little tea party circle jerk and we can talk about friggin' selling these garbage friggin' plastic games. When he concludes Clearly, just go on your computer and download the goddamn emulators and ROMs for free and play it as much as you want, but for some reason, having some physical copy in your hand makes you feel better about life, so therefore, I'm gonna pay an arm and a leg today. Shut up. Shut up, Phoenix Riso. And why is it that your real, your act, you notice how his main channel doesn't have video, that many video uploads, but his Renix P still does? You know why? Because guess what? His main channel of going around from convention to convention finding deals ain't gonna work anymore. Because I'm on the road shooting videos, having an external power supply is essential. They all know some scumbag Poindexter with his stupid little hat flipped backward, looking like Luca from friggin' Chrono Trigger. This piece of trash is gonna prance on by in the stupid game convention with his dumb, bright green colored hoodie looking like a GameStop employee, his stupid flood shorts, and his goddamn libtard sandals. He's gonna walk in there with his stupid little army green color faded backpack and start scanning barcodes up the yin yang trying to find a goddamn deal those days are over that's not gonna happen anymore because everyone in the convention knows how much of a scumbag you are phoenix resale going around hoarding up all the games hoard folks we'll start with the view as you enter the game room because as you can see on the other half of the basement here we've got the regular video game resale operating up all the friggin deals just for yourself just because you have a stupid little early access VIP pass, which is very scumbag, may I add. And then this piece of trash brags. He brags in a short video that he has, he technically owns 14 copies of Wii Sports. 14 copies of shovelware Wii Sports that no one even freaking cared about when you would find it in the goddamn thrift store when it was for 50 cents and there was multiple copies on the shelf. Now all of a sudden, freaking penis rear slot comes along acting like a cuck, freaking takes 14 copies and then freaking inflates six copies of Gale of Darkness. The goddamn price manipulates it and now it's goddamn 25 to 30 bucks for a piece of garbage shovelware which no one used to play in the past it's pathetic all right i don't like this guy's face i don't like him driving around in a dirty suv freaking having c2 emissions out of control because this idiot hasn't changed his goddamn engine oil he's driving around with deflated tires ruining the road experience for everyone else trying to get to that neckbeard retro palooza i'm sick of it freaking phoenix you have a wife who's a breadwinner who's making all the goddamn money and you're freaking goofing around in your dirty SUV prancing around from straight state to state, from convention to convention, to retro video game store to retro video game store. It's pathetic, all right? No, you're not going to Goodwill. Sony Trinitron Wiga. Folks, I just, I was looking at all of the games on the shelves over here. I hadn't even looked at the other part of the store. I to freaking haggle down a freaking price of a goddamn game gem that you found at stupid Goodwill. Goodwill is supposed to be money made to freaking give to the needy and maybe sell stuff to the needy and here's this prick job who has freaking three million in sales from his basement on his amazon store going to goodwill haggling to try to get that freaking price down on that stupid game it's pathetic i don't like it i don't like it one bit i don't like your face I don't like your woman friggin' prescription glasses. I don't like your five o'clock shadow. I don't like your point extra nose. And I don't like your little modern friggin' clothes that you wear. It pisses me off into oblivion. Yeah, let me tell you about the pawn shop story. If you haven't heard about the pawn shop story, this scumbag Phoenix Resale walks on over to a friggin' pawn shop. All right, so stuff is starting to pick up here just a bit. Got this. And the pawn shop owner tells this scumbag, hey, Phoenix rear slot, by the way, behind this counter is $1 for game and everything else in the store is actual price it says. So what does this scumbag do, Phoenix Riesel? He takes an expensive game from the expensive part of the store, then friggin' prances on over to the, like behind the $1 counter section, puts that game there and hides it, comes back later, picks up that same game from that section $1 section, goes to the store owner and says, hey, by the way, guy, 
I found four NCAA 14s and found this friggin' for a dollar. Sell it to me for a dollar, please. I'm a cuck and my name is Phoenix Resale and I'm a scumbag. He looks at you right in your face and is like, no, you loser. I saw you take it from that section and put it over into that section. I saw it with my own eyes. It's friggin' recorded. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Shut your mouth. Friggin' leave the goddamn store like the cuck that you are and on your way out, put that goddamn game in that original position you saw. And then what does Phoenix Resale do? He makes a little crybaby video, a little crybaby damage control video. He in his friggin' dirty SUV full the actual Super Nintendo. It's not hooked up right now because I don't actually play video games. Full of rats and termites. He's over there while it's raining under a friggin' over overcast or whatever the hell it is. And he's sitting there saying, guys, I just had a big, like serious confrontation. Some guy said I was lying and like, oh my God, like, dude, I can't, shut up, dude. I'm sick of your face and I'm sick of your voice. He knew you were lying. He looked at you straight in your eyes and your straightener Luca from Chrono Trigger glasses called you a cuck called you a liar made you put back the game told you to shut up and ban you from the store and now here you are making a little damage control video to upload to your bunch of insult virgins who watch your stupid channel who friggin eat game boy sp support your stupid channel thinking that they're gonna become the next phoenix resale but in reality phoenix resale is the one that completely destroyed and ruined the whole video game collecting hobby i can't even get a friggin nes golf cart anymore to show poor little timmy that i used to play this as a kid no because i have to pay an arm and a leg and if i do find an nes golf cart in the wild guess what it's encased in plastic right what a games this scumbag phoenix resale is the same piece of trash that for that like i don't know 100 bucks on pokemon white 50 on diamond and an endorsed wada games what a bright idea let's take a piece of plastic with a computer chip in it encase it in another piece of plastic so we can't even play the goddamn game put a stupid little grading at the top because dennis khan thinks it's a bright idea to put grades on friggin' games. He does that, and then all of a sudden, that same game that's worth 50 cents, it's been graded at 9.7, encased in plastic by Wada Games, and now all of a sudden, it's $456,532.74. Meanwhile, I have to show poor little Timmy and he has golf by downloading the goddamn emulator and goddamn ROM for free. It takes two seconds. Download it, done, game over. There's no need to buy that stew. And then friggin' Phoenix Reese is endorsing Wada Games, right? Right? What happened, Phoenix Riesel, after the friggin' Wada game scandal came out, where there's a bunch of cucked incel teenagers working at Wada Games, grading friggin' reproductions? Then what happened? Now, you guys may be wondering how I'm able to maintain this lovely game room alongside my YouTube channel and my resale business. Phoenix, you stayed quiet, didn't you? You stayed quiet like the little cuck that you are. You flipped your hat backwards, you friggin' went into your dirty SUV, and you pranced on over to the next goddamn garage sale, where there's a friggin' veteran two veterans at a garage sale one foot in the grave already they can't even make ends meet they're trying to sell their friggin grandchildren's friggin video game collection and you're there trying to haggle a two dollar physical copy to 50 cents because you're a greedy little prick that just wants all the friggin uh benefit and all the goddamn profit to yourself you're that same piece of trash that has this stupid little whatnot store Ooh, whatnot what a what an edgy name whatnot this and whatnot you're sitting there at whatnot with your stupid little fish eye fish eye lens the 3DS, in fact, was in immaculate condition, resulting in a five Switch game day for Mission Switch. And camera right up to your ugly face. I do not want to see your ugly, stupid face anymore. Take the friggin' camera back a step. Take it back a little and show me the goddamn games which you're trying to sell and all those stupid, ridiculous prices because ain't no one going to buy that. The whole video game retro collecting hobby is done. The whole video game retro collecting reselling thing is done. Ain't no one making a profit anymore. Anymore. That's why this scumbag, when he goes to friggin' conventions, he avoids eye contact with every single person in the goddamn convention because he knows that people are gonna go up to him and be like, hey, Phoenix Resale, you piece of garbage. Why did you ruin the video game collecting hobby? I can't even buy a basic cart, physical cart anymore for this much month because of your stupid little pickup videos bragging on the internet that you found this for cheap and then the retro gaming store owner sees it, raises, jacks up the prices, then every other retro gaming store sees it and jacks at the prices you have this stupid little app called one app where you stole the goddamn logo from star trek it's called one up because of a one up mushroom Ooh, you're so clever shut up your app's garbage it's dead on arrival ain't no one freaking using that app and freaking paying a ten dollar subscription for stupid scanning barcodes you stupid prick
Bye. <laughs>